up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're doing an unboxing of Loot Crate, and the theme is, uh, investigation or something, something along those lines. Um, so who knows exactly what will be in here, but let's see what we got. Um, so I guess we'll start off, we have a Q-Fig, which is of Jessica Jones, of course, from the Netflix series and stuff like that, so we'll go ahead and open it, um, to see it a lot better. Um, so this is... I guess kind of a weird one for me because one, uh, Jessica Jones obviously isn't a well-known character like they have done with these Q-Figs and stuff. And then um, it's like the whole Netflix series stuff, which I uh, didn't watch or anything like that. So it's not, this figure's kind of weird in that, those terms or whatever. I can understand like a Daredevil more and stuff, but um, I guess she maybe fits in with investigation more maybe I'm not too sure but you can see there she is like kicking in a wall that's breaking and stuff and then it's got like a pipe that was um, show that should be like in the, attached in the hole but since she kicked the wall it broke off and everything so they put a lot of detail into this and then you even have like the ground where there's all sorts of like dirt or like rocks and um, all sorts of um, like whatever stuff on the ground and so they put a lot of detail into this which is really cool like I said um, the, it's just a bad thing of it being Jessica Jones. It just looks like some girl. Like you, if you just have this sitting on a shelf or something and like someone sees it, they're not going to be like, oh, that's Jessica Jones. Unless they really know Jessica Jones. And they'll just be like, why do you have a girl kicking? Or they'll be like, who is that or something? So that's the only bad part about this. Um, but I really like these Q-Figs and stuff. So it's cool that we got another one. Like I said, I wish it had been something more like noticeable or something like Daredevil. But that's okay. Uh, next up, we'll go ahead and do this. It's a Batman, probably a mug or something. It's a color-changing mug is what this one is. So it's another Batman thing from the Zat Company. Like we got m multiple things from boxes. So this time we have a mug. Um, again, not too um, excited for mugs and stuff because we get so many of them. And especially like for us, we don't drink any coffee or anything. So we just have mugs piling up and stuff. Um, so it, um, here, this is what it looks like. So it has Gotham all the way around it. I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but it's Gotham, of course, has the Zeppelins and all sorts of stuff like that, um, that go with Gotham and everything. And then it's supposed to change colors. There's no picture of what it, um, uh, like looks like or anything, but if I kind of like hold it and look, I can see like the Batman logo lighting up in the sky and then... There's some, maybe a Batman itself. It's really hard to see, and of course we don't have anything to put in it to get the colors to change and stuff. Um, and it's weird that they don't have a picture of what it's supposed to be. Um, but I guess I can't really do it now. If we, we could hold it. I'm sure, I assume it's a heat reacting thing. Oh, that didn't look like it did anything. But you can look at it. So, it's kind of not very, uh, whatever. Um, but anyways, next up we have our shirt for the month, and it looks like it's Doctor Strange of some sort. Nope. Oh, no, it said Strange, so I thought Doctor Strange. Stranger Things, I guess. Um, so there, of course, we have all the kids from Stranger Things and stuff, and it looks like the cops on one side, kids on the other, then you have, what, Eleven, and then the Demogorgon there in the center and stuff like that. So it's a really, um, like, very comic-looking shirt, and it's kind of cool. Um, I'm just not big into all the, like, Stranger Things, like item stuff or whatever because I don't think it looks that cool but um, still not a bad shirt and stuff so we'll just have to deal with it uh, next up looks like <laughs> got something kinda weird we got pencils we have X-File pencils and they have stuff on it says like the truth is out there I want to believe trust no one that's why they put the I in FBI is what they say on it then it even comes with a pencil sharpener which is kinda funny but they threw that in there who knows um, then it looks like we ha do have, um, our, uh, our, this thing for the secret of the keys. I'm not sure if this is the, like, special item or anything, but I did do the thing for the last month, and you're supposed to get a special item, but I did get an email. I don't know if it's specifically for me, or if it's for, like, all Loot Crate people, but they said that more people did it than they expected, so they ran out, so they were getting more made and will be shipped out. And so I don't know if that's what this item is, or if it's because it says the primal, which was last month. So that's why I'm thinking that's maybe what this is. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, since I sent the email, I'm not 
really expecting to get anything. But that's what I'm guessing it is. But it's a whole... I don't know if we have another uh, thing in here. Um, but I'll get to it in a second after we show this last item. Um, but we have... It looks like a tape recorder as our pin this month. I assume it's just like a tape recorder. I can't really tell anything else that it is. And of course has the April 2017 theme of investigation. Um, so that's what that is. Um, but I did the whole uh, secret of the keys thing. Or secret whatever. Order of the keys and stuff. So you have like this book. And everything that you use to do stuff with. And then you use that plus the items. And you uh, ha and like there's stuff online. And it shows you have to like use this stuff and then the actual items in the box to um, figure out like coat or like secret words and stuff like that. And then you enter them in and then like I said if you get them all done correctly and stuff you get an item which like I said I don't know if this is it. I don't know if it will show anything in here. Because um, it just says you got um, additional items so I thought that would be cool. Um, so that's why I went ahead and did it. But like I said I'm not sure if it's... Um, it does have a, uh, the little picture thing that I was expecting to get, but it doesn't really say anything beyond that. So anyways, we'll go ahead and just go through uh, the item things here and stuff out of the book. So of course we have the mug, which there's I guess a picture uh, somewhat of what it looks like when it's got hot stuff in it and everything that's just part of it. Like I said, it looks like there's maybe some Batman or it could just be like the cloud stuff in the background. I couldn't really tell. It was a big figure over the city, but I um, I thought it was maybe Batman. Then, of course, we have the Jessica Jones Q-Fig. The Stranger Things shirt. Not Doctor Strange, but Stranger Things. Um, the uh, X-File pencils, which, like I said, are funny, but I mean, they're pencils. Um, then, of course, we have the box here, which I didn't really show anything on the inside, but it's this. I guess it doesn't really matter which way it goes and stuff. But it shows in here that it turns into a brief... You can turn it inside out and turn it into a briefcase. Looking there, it has a handle and everything. So that's kind of cool. And then we have our recorder, which um, looks like it unlocks some digital comics for X-Files and stuff. And then that looks like that's probably about it. Then, of course, some other stuff in the Mega Crate there that you could get that we never win. Um... I guess that's it for this box. So what was your favorite item out of this, bro? Uh, I really didn't have anything. Yeah, to me this was a good box, which I had no clue what the theme was till just a few days ago when I saw an advertisement thing for it. And I was like, investigate, that doesn't sound all that cool and stuff. Um, and then, like I said, a lot of the items I'm not really excited about. I'd probably say the Q-Fig just because I like the Q fig things and stuff. But like I said, Jessica Jones is just one of those that's not like iconic enough to have a figure of her. Like I said, she just looks like some girl kicking a wall. That's <laughs> all it looks like. It doesn't look like it's too anything. Um, but that's probably going to be my favorite. Um, but that's going to be it for this unboxing. Um, I'll try and do this order of the key thing. Sometimes they're kind of difficult. Like I said, there's all sorts of like word stuff there and everything. Um, but you can, if you get the loot crate, you be sure to do it too. Like I said, you get something. I don't know if this is just, I mean, this is kind of lame, but it's kind of cool to get all these to show that you've done them and everything as well, though. Um, but that's going to be it for this um, unboxing. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we will see you next time.